So today is day one in Aurora. We took off yesterday from Laramie and we hit DIA, Denver, and we flew to O'Hare. Then we caught a rental car and then checked into our hotel like late, like 1 p.m., no, 1 a.m. This morning we got up and we started by coming to location and then unloading a truck. And we're wrapping up day one right now. Sean and Trapper are just finishing up bolting three light racks to the ground and we'll pick up from here tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Nick. Hey, Trapper. Hey, Trapper. How you doing, man? Yeah. So nice to meet you, too. Yeah. You guys are finally here? Yes. Tyler, man. Nick, nice to meet you. Nick, hey, I'm Sean. Nice Ooh, to meet you, Sean. Nice to meet Nick. you. Hi. Is, this is going to be an educational facility as well. So I'm going to have aquaponics over here um, on a big enough scale to where people will be like, oh wow, that's a lot of fish, or whatever, and be impressed by, you know, like some of your field trips and whatever. And then I want to um, expand with uh, fruiting plants on the okay. other side. Oh, nice. So, you know, that's the that's the kind of vision. And then the back part of the, the shop, that I think always stay workshop. We'll just yeah. keep, we'll just need space to keep stuff out of sight. Oh, should I do it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Just to do it? It's yeah. official. Sync it up. Uh, my name is Nick Morasco. I am a former teacher of 14 years and um, just resigned and am completely shifting careers into um, farming. So I'll be farming in an urban landscape, so I guess you can call myself an urban, urban farmer. And um, we've partnered with Bright Agrotech. We're um, going to be growing a lot of our food hydroponically as well as aquaponically. Once I have everything laid out and I can I can essentially have a blueprint of how to run the system, how to harvest the system, what plants that we're gonna grow, the whole deal, and we can start a farm in California. We can start a farm wherever we want. We can expand um, as we acquire more space uh, here in the Chicago area. We'd like to develop a good, strong CSA in the community and have a nice mix of fruiting plants and then our herbs and greens, um, maybe even microgreens, and just have a nice um, diverse kind of harvest that we can offer to the community that's extremely nutritious, um, extremely local, extremely transparent, um, and they can be a part of it. They can even volunteer and be a part of, of, of the farm, so. Today was good. Yeah. Today was great. Uh, we set up these light racks. We uh, these beauties. We got a good. Uh, we got a good look at the place. We got to meet <laughs> Nick, who's running this project. We got a good background on triple threat mentoring, kind of what they're all about and uh, what they plan to use this system for. 
Um, so yeah, it was a good. It was a good day one. We got kind of uh, the foundation laid to be able to uh, kick it off tomorrow and start uh, really moving some stuff. Sean, how do your knees feel? My knees hurt. I'm getting knee pads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot accomplished today. Really good. You guys are good crew. Glad to have you here. All right, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a little bit later in the week. Yeah, yeah, be perfect. Maybe, uh, for sure. So, awesome. Sweet. <laughs> All right, drive safe, guys. We'll do. Thanks, thanks, Nick. We'll see you tomorrow, man. Hey, thanks for lunch again. Absolutely.